So I saw an article that I caught my eye, and it's about how too much protein actually triggers aging and cancer. And then when I saw who wrote the article, I about fell out of my seat because it is Dr. Joe Mercola. I used to affectionately call him Dr. Merbrola because he advocates a paleo low carb diet. And you know, those guys are all about the protein, protein, protein. Don't eat any carbs, eat protein and fat. And uh, this article, he is pointing to a lot of the same research that uh, Dr. Michael Greger, the whole food plant-based doctor who advocates a high carb plant-based diet, pointed to about how too much protein is linked to cancer, specifically methionine. Now, for a little biochemistry lesson for you guys, methionine is the amino acid that is the first amino acid of pretty much every protein that your body makes. It's what's called the start codon. So it's always the first amino acid in a protein sequence. And so people thought that this was good. They was like, oh, you can make more protein. But the research has come back and it clearly states that it, it affects this thing called the mTOR cycle. And basically, you're just taking in all this building material and, you know, once you reach, you know, full maturity and are fully grown, you don't need a whole lot of building material. It's like taking a house that's already built and just hauling in more lumber and hauling in more, you know, nails and hammers and plywood and all this stuff and, like, just clogging up the house. All you need is, like, you know, a little spackle there, a little brush up with a paint job there. And so what happens when things grow out of control? That's cancer. And it's crazy because we've just lived in this world that protein, this idea that protein is like the ultimate nutrient and everybody needs to get more because it's just the answer to all your health problems when it's like completely unfounded by the science. Protein deficiencies practically non-existent and it only happens in third world countries with people who are starving. And but we just have this idea that's been pushed on us from the USDA, which kind of is run by the mean dairy industry, which is protein, 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 protein. We're so programmed with it. <laughs> We're getting all this cancer. People are having all these diseases, diabetes, heart disease, and now cancer have been shown to be linked to too much protein, specifically animal protein. So I really commend Dr. Mercola for coming out and saying this. Um, it's not completely what I agree with in the article because he does say that um, basically you should continue to eat like a high fat, low carb, low protein diet, which I don't think is a good idea. But he even says paleo diets don't promote longevity because basically paleolithic man lived to reproductive age, was re able to reproduce and then died. And so if you want to live to be reproductive age and then die to a paleo diet, I don't even think we really know what paleolithic man ate for sure. And I really don't think that it follows the prescribed paleolithic diet where you're eating things like drinking coffee, which wasn't around to the year 1500 AD. But I commend Dr. Mercola on coming out and saying that this protein craze has got to end. And there's other things that Dr. Mercola does that I really like. I don't know if you guys know this, but Dr. Mercola was the largest donor to defeat, uh, to try to defeat the GMO labeling bill in California that didn't pass. He gave the most money out of any organization or person, like tons of his own money to fight this for GMO. So this guy is a health advocate. I think he's misguided on some things with nutrition, especially this whole high fat diet thing. But for those people out there that think he's like a shill and he's just in it for the money, I don't think so. This guy is is um, a health crusader. I don't agree with everything he says. We have some big differences as an opinion, but I think this guy's in the heart, heart's in the right place. And when he comes out and puts out an article like this and says that, hey, this whole protein thing, uh, it, it's too much and it's causing cancer and it's decreasing our longevity, I tip of the hat to you, Dr. Mercola. That's awesome. So... I'll put a link down below to the article. Check this out. Share it with all your protein and protein crazed friends that think that there's no upper limit on a protein and the more the better and everybody's not getting enough protein. No, actually it's killing us. So thanks for watching guys. I will catch you next video. Hey guys, subscribe to Whole Future on YouTube and check out Whole Future on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat as well.